Welcome to Shelly's Cuisine. Today we are going to make 7-Up Cake. Everybody loves 7-Up Cake and we are going to make it here so you have it in time for the holidays. Great cake. Alright, so we're going to start out with two sticks of butter and we're going to use one packet of Crisco and we're going to cream that together, okay? All right. Lock. Got to be careful because I can't see it. <laughs> so we're just going to get this uh, all blended up together. Okay, it's time to add our sugar. So we're not gonna add all of the sugar. Now the thing about this uh, 7-Up cake, it takes a lot of sugar. So normally the recipe calls, it's three cups of flour and it calls for two and a half cups of sugar. So that's a little bit for me. So I'm cutting it down to one and a half cups of sugar because I want it nice and sweet but I don't want to feel like I'm eating all the sugar okay We've got all our sugar in. We want to cream it a little bit. I just want to push down the sides a little bit. All right. to get smooth. And so, now, it's time for me to do my twist. So, one teaspoon of almond extract. We're gonna put two teaspoons of vanilla extract. A lot of vanilla is good in this. Of course, Vietnamese cinnamon. So we're gonna put two teaspoons of Vietnamese cinnamon and I'm gonna twist it with shredded coconut. What sweet thing do I make that I don't put coconut? All right, let's just mix this up a little bit. Okay. Let me just scrape my sides. So I want it to be a little smoother, especially with the sugar and, and stuff that I have there. Okay, so now it's time to add the flour, and I have five eggs. By the way, I forgot to put my uh, nutmeg. So let me get some nutmeg in there, fresh nutmeg. One teaspoon. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm on the lowest speed here. I think that's good. So. We start with some of the eggs. Don't forget to take the eye out of the egg. Five eggs. So you put a little bit of eggs. 
We mix that and then we're going to do eggs, flour, eggs, flour. So this is five cups of flour. I'm sorry, three cups of flour. And we're going to come with a little more eggs. And now we're going to come with some more flour. And we want to mix this kind of on low. We don't want to go crazy. Okay, and we're going to put the last of the eggs. Making a mess. And the last of the flour. Okay. Make a mess here, there, everywhere. Okay. I want to stop it. out. Okay. So from here, I'm just going to mix this, make sure everything, everything is incorporated. And this is where the seven up comes in. So this is a seven ounce. This is 7.5. You need seven ounces, but I use this can and seven up, seven up acts as the agent. We're going to pour all of the seven up in. And now we're going to fold. Okay? So, we're just going to fold and fold until this gets incorporated and we don't see the seven up anymore. So, we're not stirring. We're trying to fold. It's messy here. Okay. all get incorporated and so that should be good with our cinnamon shredded coconut So see, we're getting rid of a lot of the 7-Up liquid. But I need to make sure the whole batter is smooth. So we're finished. And we're just going to scoop it in our pan. And the little bumps that you see, 
that's the shredded coconut and by the way I greased the pan with spray oil and then I put flour dusted it with flour turned it around the pan and then let go of any excess um, flour okay because the last thing you want is to make this cake and it can't come out the pan so that would not be good okay nice smooth batter this is such a favorite when people come to my house did you make the 7-up cake did you make the homemade guava ice cream we do have homemade guava ice cream recipe on the website to go with this since I like coconut so much I think I'm gonna try to make coconut ice cream or maybe I'll make coconut sorbet we have mango sorbet but all right I think I've gotten most of it and I am just going to smooth this out a little bit it'll smooth out when it bakes so 7-Up cake is like a pound cake so it's kind of dense okay but absolutely delicious so I don't want to waste all of this it's too much to waste so we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes or until you put a toothpick in and it comes out clean so our 7-Up cake is ready don't forget when you invert your cake from the bunt pan you put a plate over it you hold it and you turn it over so we're at the end and we want to I want to put about half a cup of powdered sugar okay and that's because I'm going to decorate and I'm simply going to go around it like this with the powdered sugar just simple tap there you go and that is beautiful there you have it thank you for visiting Shelly's Cuisine oh I got a taste how can I forget? Wow. That's nice. You can see the coconut there. I just need milk. Very moist, very delicious. Thank you for baking 7-Up Cake with us. Please subscribe, hit the notification button, and tune in next week to find out what we will twist.